Good morning, everyone. Another broadcast from the island of Mallorca. Today, starting with a bit of a mist that disappearing, maybe to highlight the seriousness of the event, because today we are tackling Sacalobra. Yes, the most famous climb of the island. Just the name is a bit scary in itself. It literally means the snake from uh, Latin. Just because of the windy road is, uh, of course, resembling the shape of a snake. It is, as I said, the most famous climb of the island, and we are going today first to Sabataya and then Sacalobra. It's going to be a very tough one. Uh, no one, I think, is going to hit at the KOM that Tom Pitcott set. But yes, we would love to do a nice performance. Yes, all the riders getting ready and the high of the event is uh, felt in the air. So this is what I missed yesterday, <laughs> the <laughs> cream station. You have one of them? I, I put my one already. It's the end of the day, I'm going to have to. <laughs> I don't get any more burnt today. Alex, beautiful <laughs> colors. Yeah, no, today, say? yes, I I'm feel already the height of the event and uh, the pressure of the Sacalobra. There's no pressure. I have no pressure for Sacalobra. I'll put on my way up, take a nice photo and enjoy the scenery because it's a beautiful climb. Yeah, so that, no yeah. head in the handlebar, just look around because it's beautiful. So there's going to be lots of uh, stops when I give you options and, uh, and we are there. Alex and Paul matching kit. I mean, these guys are really amazing. They are organizing a epic trip. The place they selected, this Finca Sontia, is fantastic, beautiful. The food is great. The organization is uh, top notch. The key factor with Moloko is that Alex and Paul are great people and uh, naturally they are attracting the like minded guys and girls. Yeah, it's a really good community and uh, the trip is uh, coming out really, really well. Great atmosphere in the mist. Everyone is focused because you know the task coming up is challenging. I love this feeling. You know, you can uh, smell the WD-40. You can smell the chain lube coming up through the air. Yeah, I love the smell of chain lube in the morning. We are going up Sabataya now. Literally the battle. Yeah, it, the name is already <laughs> a good program for the climb. It should be the easier one before Sacalobra. Uh, Carlos from uh, Finca Sontia is uh, joining us. He's got the biggest calf I've ever seen. He <laughs> looks like he can smash the bike <laughs> with one pedal stroke. Try to stay relaxed going uphill. The key really is to select the good gear early. No point in uh, grinding these climbs because they are long. So stay in the small chain rings and a comfortable gear at the back for the whole climb. Oh, Jackson pushing. I feel that going uphill, well, in general for your bike performance a good position is really essential when uh, you are climbing for long period everything starts to hurt and you need to really rely on a good body position to push on the pedals in the most efficient way so definitely a lot of time needs to be spent preparing your position for this uh, hard effort i got my semi-compact chain ring on uh, this canyon ultimate so 52 36 at the front and 11 30 at the back i feel that it is a good ratio for mallorca because yes there's a lot to climb but the climb themselves are not super steep so if you keep a good pace you should be able to manage them and at the same time, on the descent, uh, on the flat, you'll have a good gearing to feel pressure on the pedal and go for the slightly higher speed on the flats. So we are at the salt of the Belladonna, jump of the beautiful girl. Let's hope 
no girl is going to jump today but it's a fantastic view these mountains are so beautiful I haven't checked but there must be a climbing scene as well in Mallorca so in my previous life when I used to rock climb as well this could have been also a destination for going up the mountains we arrived on top nice spin uh, yeah I'm still breathing so it's all good better tell them the truth <laughs> he, dro he dropped us all <laughs> no 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 it's a good pace for the whole group we don't want to yeah overdo this first one Hello YouTube, uh, out in the wild. Ciao! <laughs> yeah, cycling unboxed. It's got how many dollars you have? 1,000. 1,086. Yeah, in yeah. no time it would be up, uh, you know, surpassing me, which I am not going to like. I don't think so, mate. I don't no, think well so. Well done, well done. You're spending, you've been spending a month here? Oh, the whole month, yeah. We're here from the 1st to the 30th of April and we're on our last week now, finishing with a 3 one, two. I know, I'm so jealous, yeah, but you're doing, <laughs> yeah. you're doing great. Yeah, and, Cheers, man. And you can see updates on uh, Instagram and uh, YouTube as well. Thank but, you. Uh, Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Never seen so many bikes in my entire life and cyclists. This is Sabataya is a stop well needed for a rest between climbs. Such a nice vibe and atmosphere. Laura all matching. Well done. Something is saying to me that we are getting close. I, I'm so sorry. I, I, yes, I know it's hard and uh, I know it was hard. Yes, I'm at the bottom of Sacalabra after what it felt like a never ending descent. It's quite tricky because you've got millions of cars, cyclists everywhere, and I was really, really cautious not to overheat my brakes, so I didn't uh, grab the brakes and uh, had them for too long. The road goes up for what it seems an eternity. Yes, because coming down it takes ages and uh, I cannot even imagine what it feels like or it's going to feel like climbing up. It's going to be the most challenging hill I've ever done. Now going up, I'm not going to film anything because it's going to be really a hard effort. So I'm going to concentrate on the climb and I hope to get back the benefit of rim brakes uphill with a, with a weight. Okay, the good thing is that I'm alive, still, just. This climb deserves all the iconic status that gained over the years. The snake, the name is actually quite appropriate. It's never ending and that's where, yes, pacing was maybe the key. I can still talk and uh, walk. In between Sacalobra and Sabataya, there is this really beautiful rolling road fast descent and uh, decent gradient is maybe one of the most enjoyable part climbing after Sacalobra feels really hard now but yes I'm still managing to turn these pedals so Heidi yeah. quite an unusual chain tattoo on your shoulder <laughs> uh, on your shoulder blades actually how did it happen so after five years of cycling quite a lot I Forgot to unclip on the top of a climb. <laughs> I know, sorry. And as I was slow mo falling, I fell into a man next to me. Yeah. He was also trying to struggle. I to know, get... I mean, poor guy, he went down. <laughs> I argued maybe he could have held you, but maybe he wasn't there. <laughs> if only he went to the gym, he would have just <laughs> held me and, no, and that would have been fine. But no, he crumbled and then yeah. I ended up just lying on his bike on his chain yeah hopefully he's not going to watch this uh, video oh, so no, maybe he won't no. sue us by <laughs> okay. okay Federico how was Sacalobra <laughs> oh thank you yeah it was epic unbelievable very sketchy to go down uh, but you know the climb is uh, torture but you know in the end the process is uh, fantastic enjoying the pain 
and going uphill for what it feels like an eternity. <laughs> but it's definitely worth the trip. Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Just got back, probably from the hardest climb I've ever done. Maybe for you as well, I think. I don't know. Definitely it was for me. Uh, it's, it's too easy. <laughs> oh my God. But yes, no, it was um, an unbelievable experience. I've been using this adjective for maybe too many times, but it, I'm really staggered how beautiful riding in this island is. The process of going down Sakalobra and up Sakalobra again is really a learning experience about yourself because the tension and the concentration that you have to have is really immense but up to the end is uh, such an amazing relief and a sense of achievement like nothing else Hello. we go imagine the pool here imagine the pool. <laughs> well done but yes that's the advanced party the advanced party already in the pool anyway uh, rim breaks question mark going downhill sakalobra it was um, quite uh, a process uh, for me especially mentally because I was yes a little bit anxious I thought that at the bottom of the downhill I would have seen my brake track melted and uh, the brake pads completely destroyed luckily that didn't happen yes I could feel my friends with disc brakes going uh, much stronger so I'm uh, ready to admit the benefits of this brace going down but to me going up is uh, what it counts most guys thanks again uh, for watching my second video about my Mallorca experience today was quite unique about Sacalobra and uh, yes if you're into cycling this one is one of those climbs that you should never miss thanks again for watching I see you to the next video ciao